Hi guys, this is Alex, a senior product manager here at Cody. Uh, it's been a while since our uh, last tech update, so here we go, a new fresh uh, tech update. Uh, so first I want to start with uh, basically uh, where we at versus where we been, right? So currently we are aiming to release uh, Multidac 2.0. Uh, we are aiming towards the end of the month. And as I mentioned in my previous tech updates, and I'm sure Shachov also mentioned, so this Multidac 2.0 uh, bundle also contains uh, Bridge 2.0 and also Explore 2.0 and uh, so where are we at right now uh, bridge 2.0 so currently we are in dev staging environment we are running uh, quality assurance uh, to ensure that uh, we release a quality product without any uh, major issues and it's currently looking really really good so it's also ready to be released uh, in addition i previously mentioned that there's an additional effort that we need to do in terms of the back office systems that will support bridge 2.0 and when i say back office systems i basically mean all of the tools that we had to develop for support and our financial teams in order to be able to support you as a community in terms of uh, refunds and stock transactions and other things that might go wrong we understand that blockchain technology is a complex technology and things uh, can go wrong so we are finalizing those interfaces uh, to make our support more efficient and allow our development teams to focus on what they're really good at is developing great products all right so an important addition to note is we are aware of what is happening in the industry and we are tuned to the latest news and i'm happy to announce that we are adding additional efforts uh, to increase our security our bridge security and we have uh, added resources for external auditors to be basically to test our bridge and make sure that it's secure and it uh, fits industry standards uh, so that's uh, really important so Explore 2.0 is right uh, right now is in testnet, right? And as we release uh, Multidat 2.0 to mainnet, uh, Explore 2.0 will also go to mainnet from testnet, right? So Bridge 2.0 will go to testnet uh, phase and then it will go to mainnet um, phase. And it's important to understand that basically by the end of the month, we plan to release all three products together because they need to work um, simultaneously in order to offer all the services uh, that our network is offering today so when jet uh, well i know that shakhov uh, updated the community about that, uh, the status of jet right but i want to give you another perspective uh, maybe a more technical perspective of of what is actually happening right so in theory uh, jet is ready to release right but uh, we are currently doing an independent uh, auditing we are working in order to ensure that this product can be safely released it's really important to understand that stable coins right it's a really a stable coin is a really complex product right a lot of things can go wrong and we as a company cannot afford to release something right that we are not 100 percent sure business wise and of course more importantly from my perspective technically wise that this uh, product is uh, attack proof that it's scalable it will answer the use case uh, for which it was created so we are taking extra measures on top of extra measures constantly to ensure that when jet is released it's a viable stable secure product and i know it takes time but from my perspective, it's better, it's better to be safe than sorry. And again, you guys that are probably aware and in tune with the news and in light of the recent history, you can appreciate why, why are we taking that extra step and going that extra mile in order to ensure that our community of users that are going to consume this product is safe and secure. All right, so additional great news that uh, recently uh, was published by Shachov is that we uh, have signed a contract with a new enterprise and we are going to develop a custom uh, built solution for that enterprise to suit their uh, business use case. And how does it all play with uh, this tech update, Multidac 2.0 and Bridge 2.0? So let me briefly explain. So uh, this new enterprise that we just uh, signed a contract is going to basically uh, issue their own branded payment token on top of our trust chain 
And this is how Multitech 2.0 comes into play, right? We needed to develop this capability, that's one. Uh, in addition, based on the use case of our uh, new enterprise client, they need to bridge ad additional liquidity that they have on different blockchain. So here when comes uh, Bridge 2.0 to play, right? So Bridge 2.0 will enable to swap uh, tokens that are not native to Trust Chain or maybe native to Trust Chain, but basically it enables us this flexibility in order to meet this business use case for this enterprise that we have recently signed the contract. So it's really, really important that we uh, release this entire bundle of functionality, Multidoc 2.0, uh, Bridge 2.0 and of course Explore 2.0. So that's uh, about this update. We have been hearing some feedback from the community about Treasury and uh, the APY. So I briefly want to touch on this uh, subject. So the first thing which is really important to understand is basically how the Treasury operates, right? So when you open a new deposit, and obviously you are not the only one who is opening a deposit, right? Uh, so you open a deposit, you select uh, the multiplier, you select the locking period, and based on that, we will we provide you an approximate APY. It's basically an estimated APY. Why is it an estimated APY? Because Treasury, based on the financial model on how it's built, is also dependent on your weight within the Treasury pool. Right. So as long if there's more, more liquidity coming into Treasury, right, more people are making deposits. So your weight in the entire pool basically shrinks. Right. If people take out their deposits uh, from Treasury, so your relative uh, your relative weight within the pool grows. So your APY also grows. So APY is not a static uh, static return on investment. It's constantly changing uh, based on the liquidity within the treasury coming in, coming out. So it's constantly changing. In the future, uh, for example, I mentioned the enterprise client that we were able to sign and hopefully in 2023, we will be able to uh, announce new enterprises that will join our uh, network and basically use our technology. And of course, this will lead to more transactions and to more rewards that will be deposited to Treasury to be distributed amongst our community of depositors. So the APY will grow as well. Another important thing to mention is the government's token, right? Uh, one of the utilities for that government's token that we are going to release hopefully in Q4 is basically APY boost. So if you participate in the launch program of the GCOTI and you will get a drop of GCOTI tokens, the government's token, you will be able to use them as an APY boost to your existing deposits, right? So it will automatically increase uh, your APY of your existing deposits if you choose to deposit those in treasury. Right. And in addition, those uh, government's tokens will have a value, right? They will be exchangeable. So basically you are getting a government's token that has a value of its own. You can also use it as a utility to increase your returns on the current deposits that you have in Treasury. And in the future, it will have an additional uh, functionality of basically you will be able to use it to liquidate positions, risky positions and enjoy uh, the rewards for doing those types of actions. So I hope uh, that uh, helped answer some of your questions. Of course, we are always listening. You are able to uh, reach out to our community managers. Uh, we are constantly uh, publishing uh, user guides and documentation to enable you to understand better understand the mechanisms of um, the Treasury. So that's that on the Treasury. And I think this finalizes our uh, tech update. Uh, it's been a really busy Q3 and we have a really exciting Q4 uh, ahead of us. And, and I wanna take this opportunity to thank our development teams that are really doing a wonderful job. Um, our quality assurance teams, our support teams, uh, marketing, everyone is pitching in in order to make this thing happen. And, you know, we are working as a team to hit those milestones. So as I said, Q4, really interesting. 2023, I'm really excited about. And currently we're in the process of building the roadmap for 2023. So 
Stay cutting.